Okay, hello everyone, welcome back. Let us continue on our way. We're gonna go attempt to find this guy's uh, corpse somewhere over here on the opposite side there. I think that's cat tech. Stay alert. Mm, some cat there too. Let's ignore them. More remnant. I've already scanned Sarah? that. Might be dangerous, but we should check it out. I already have checked it out, I'm pretty sure. It's right here. Right here. Approaching site two. Resilience. It was sold as the one we get right. But it didn't have time to get worn down. Got wiped out by Ket. Didn't even finish unpacking. Ket didn't give him a chance. Fluorite. Looks like a war zone, according to survivors. The cat attacked from all sides. It was a massacre. Lots of uh, fluorite around here. How far out is it? Oh, we're like right here. <coughs> ah, I got a cat drop ship in the distance. This is where Chief Reynolds died. Sandstorms could have buried the body long ago. I suggest scanning. Karkins. Pathfinder, there is an armor piece buried deep. A leg bracer. Scan indicates tissue and bone fragments clinging to it. DNA identified as Chief Reynolds. Indications suggest his body was torn to pieces. So the Chief became Karkin food. Circle of life can be gruesome. The remaining armor will be scattered, or perhaps brought to a nest. The chest piece and his Omni tool may explain his death. Can we keep searching and scanning? Another armor piece, Chief Reynolds' helmet. The search continues. Okay. I need the Nomad to do this. This is going to be too much of a pain in the ass with uh, on foot. Because my radiation levels are going to be high. Do 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 you don't think it could have been the cat? That's a bad thought. Huh. Wow, even it can't climb up that, huh? There we go.
Pathfinder. The scan has picked up Chief Reynolds' chest piece, confirming single shot. Unable to determine weapon type, but entry point was at the back. Exit blast through the chest. By all accounts, Milken was in front of the Chief when he fired. So it wasn't his shot that killed him. The Chief's Omni tool might shed some light. It was that girl. She killed him. Knew it. Remnants have overtaken this area, Pathfinder. It may be worth investigating. Picking up additional armor scraps. I believe it's a trail leading to a cave nearby. Could be where the nest is located. Alright, well, we go in there and clear it out, I guess. Milken is innocent. He didn't shoot Reynolds. So it would seem. Seems clear to me. Good work. Pathfinder, there is also an audio recording. Go ahead and play it. No! Where's Milken? Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Is that Milken? That sounds like... Confirming. Voice identified as suspect Milken. So he did not kill the chief. But he meant to. Need another chat with the man. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, well, I mean, we're pretty much done on world. How do I... Yeah, that's it, right? I need to go back to the Nexus. How do I get picked up from thing? Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Earth had formations like this. Made a lot of kids think of alien worlds. How do I water and weather? Nothing tougher. How do over. I get to There's a button somewhere? It takes me back to my ship. I don't know how to do it, though. Press E to exit Nomad. I don't want to exit the Nomad. I want to head back to my ship. Well, I suppose I'll drive back to the ship and then from there... Six-wheeled mode out of here. Let's get out of here.
thought we're currently mining everything in this area. Pathfinder, this area can be yeah, we are. Resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Yay, there's the ship. We can get the hell off this. So the outpost is called Padromos. Alright, let's get out of here. That's all I wanted to do, really. We can always come back for more stuff. Depart the planet? Yes. Ascent is go. All clear. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? Well, that's cool. I don't care where anyone sleeps. As long as we realize what a kick-ass team we have. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times and didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? Ooh. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots. Just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Uh, uh, just get along. Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. But not humility or self-awareness. Okay. Let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical? Good meeting, everyone. All right, I'm back on my ship. I need to go back to the Nexus. But before I do that, we call I'm this the, the research room. You free. can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Okay, thank you. Um, I don't think that's the right way. Or is it? Maybe it's this way. Yeah, got all my stuff here. And your repair kits, spare parts. 
What is that? I carry that emergency kit you put together all the What time. is that? Is that an Easter egg from something else? I'll check in with you later. I don't know what that is. Uh Yoga poses. Ha. Let's switch back to short sleeves. I can't customize colors for the life of me, so. Oh, cool, we can do patterns. Moving up in this world, ooh. Sure, pattern color, black. Ooh, we can make it red, or we can make it white. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. That's that. Crew quarters. No one sleeps in this frickin' room. <laughs> Anyone want to help me move a couch? There's some couch moving. Med bay. Pathfinder's quarters. Galley. Uh, don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Oh, Roshan. Who are you talking to? Kesh, Nexus Superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. Uh, I like the way you think, kid. Ugh. Someone somewhere shivered when I said that. Probably Tam. Damn politicians. Is that all you brought? You travel even when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Is it hard to be on your own? the Nexus can't have been an easy choice. It was, actually. <laughs> Stay became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. What about catch? Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Uh, I understand why you left. Our people come first. Keeping Cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. Cool. Well, we got to talk to him. Can we talk to him some more? Ryder, you meet Spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in Assistant Director. Got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. <laughs> Nexus Uprising. Why did the Krogan leave the Nexus? The Nexus got us Krogan to stop the mutiny. In return, we were supposed to get a say in station business. Spender, Addison's assistant, 
lied about the deal, and Tan came down hard. Too hard. So we left. Cash is alone on that station now. You worried about her? You think someone might try to hurt Cash? Huh. More like she airlocks Spender. Or he tries to stab her in the back, and then she airlocks him. Tan wouldn't listen to me when I told him Spender had a part in the mutiny. I had no proof. So what's my part in this? Things need to get sorted out, and my clan needs to get back on station without Spender messing things up. Way I see it, you're probably the best one for that job. Okay. We can talk more later. Sure. Hey, one last thing. Yeah? Do you call everyone kid? Is everyone a kid to you? Ha, when you get to be my age, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I like him. Alright, cool. Well, let's talk to some more of my crew. I don't know where the hell I would even find a lot of them. Mm. Come from Nokian. What's down here? Okay, this is where the Nomad Rider is. Engineering. Repeat, Rider to Engineering. <laughs> Shit, is this thing on? I heard someone complaining. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Younger sister. Let me guess. A little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. Gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... Hey, what was that about? So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation. I mean, I guess it beats the Nexus. I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. Who's that know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. That's good. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. You're intense. I like it. <laughs> and you're good with guns. Ability to haggle with the locals? Great. But please tell me you're also good in a fight. Like I said before, Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. I do what I have to. We all have a personal stake in this. If it keeps going the way it's been, we're all dead. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later? Sure. Oh, she's cool. Where the hell's Cora on this station? What's this room? Is that a couch I hear being moved? It is. Pathfinder, help me with something? I know, not exactly standard. Gonna make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked omni blade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? Where did you find a couch? <laughs> Someone brought this to Andromeda? It was new when we left. Been a hard year. So, finally time for that beer? Sure. And after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. But crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few peace actions. Think about your alliance days much? Uh... It was Hustle. Hustle. Tell me about your group. Heavy Urban Search Terrain 1. Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. What? Why is that bottle square? One, but hustle looks much better on the patch. <laughs> All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Uh -oh. Tastes better just thinking about those days. <laughs> I do miss that. I wanted exploration to chase the cutting edge of Prothean research. I thought I'd found my calling. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder, why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. Um. 
I don't know. I don't care about you. You're gonna die anyway. It doesn't matter to me. Um. I started in the Alliance, but it was the science that kept me going. When that ended, well, if I wanted to be a part of the next big discovery, it had to be here. Oh, I don't hear idealist a lot. Everyone's cynical. Yes. I got you, Costa. Why do you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. I don't believe you. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job. Nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Ah. I still do. I have to. We're in it. Puts pressure on all of us, I guess. If it all goes wrong, you could feel like we left for no reason. I know why I'm here. A bad start can't change that. I won't let it. In crisis response, I'd focus on essentials. That's you and this team. Pathfinder leads to planets, leads to people. You've got your part covered. You've got this. I'll do my damnedest to help with the rest. Well, who is, isn't this guy nice? Hmm, alright, now where the hell's the rest of my team? You know that. I ain't fucking around with you. You even try.